Okay, everybody, so this is the finished product with screen, which will be replaced. Uh, the light on it now is uh, a moonflower. Uh, the cam that I showed you for the Christmas party, which I really wish I had this then. Um, so that's it, uh, reflects off that very nicely. We've got two, um, two uh, traffic lights either side. These are cheap imitations of traffic lights. Um, I have halogen traffic lights upstairs. These are just two um, display models that I use for photographs, etc., etc. Everything else here is used in, in gigs, except for that one. So these three lights here are all display models. These two moving heads are mounted specially for today's event, today's event, today's proceedings. Um, this is the stand fully completed. We had a lot of trouble with this. And when I say a lot of trouble, I don't mean a little bit. I mean a lot of trouble. Um, we bent some of the poles. We pulled things out of place. Um, but eventually we managed to get it working. The only downside to this is that there's no instructions to the thing and I've put it up, but we, we got it in the end. Um, obviously all our units are secured with safety cables to prevent um, any accidents or injuries to coming to any member of our people. Does that make sense? No. To, to prevent any injuries to, to, from succumbing to any members of the public. Um, so we have these cables attached firmly here using carabiners and safety wire to the tri bar, the tri bar, can't just trigger my doctor there, to the trussing stand. And obviously we have one here. And then there will be um another one on the end here possibly. And the same on that side, or there'll be one on the inside and one on the inside. As you can see we've got all the wires rigged up. This is a bit sloppy. This is not how we do it when we do the gigs. We make sure that all this is cable tied up so that it roughly looks like that. So it's all secured in place and you cannot see any of the wires hanging down. Um, obviously this is the cloth I was talking about. The, the cloth, this is the table uh, that I was talking about. The felt table that comes with it. Uh, the felt table, bloody hell. The carpet table that comes with it is absolutely incredible. It's really, really nice. Very smooth. And it has that new carpet smell. And I don't mean carpet flooring. I mean, well yes I do. I, I mean it has new carpet smell. Uh, like it's just been bought from... Uh, you know, carpet right for something, carpet right, carpet right. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's got good words out today. Uh, but that's what the um, the Moonflower is doing. This is a cam, as I said before. Obviously, this is upside down because it hangs on the truss. This is the cam Moonflower LED. And that then just bends down and sits on that. Now, as you can see, usually I wouldn't have the screen so far away from the DJ booth because, as you can see, it is about a meter difference between the booth which is here, and the um, the screen, which is there. There's two reasons why I've done this. Reason number one, this will not bend any further than this. And it was cutting off the top portions. When I had these two pieces on, these two um, traffic lights, I didn't like the way they were f reflecting off the light. I think it needed something more crisp. So what I've done is I've just moved the screen forward slightly for this demonstration and um, what I've ordered is I've ordered some park hands and there will be one there, there will be one there, one there and one there. So I've ordered four park hands, two um, American DJ uh, LED strips um, which will either go in the two fronts or at the side and I've ordered two Equinox flame machines which are going to sit. If I move the booth closer you'll be able to get a rough idea of what it's actually going to look like when it's finished with everything um, and obviously we haven't got the speakers in at the moment um, they are due uh, this week in fact they are due on Friday I, I'm guessing I think they're due on Friday um, so obviously what will happen is you'll have so you see what I mean by the way just see how it's cut off cuts off half of the effect but that's that's that that's, that's to deal with I will move that eventually and um, I cannot explain machines I'm gonna have one uh, I'm gonna have one here, on this side, and that will reflect this up nicely. And I have another flame machine here to reflect this up nicely. Uh, and I will have a bit of bath lights. And just for effect, because I couldn't be bothered going upstairs and dragging a massive strobe out, I've just got a couple of mini strobes um, that I've brought down today. You can see the flashing. There you, go. you can't really tell. There you go. You can, this, this camera's not really good at strobing. If I slow it down, you might be able to see. So this is strobing, obviously, as you get faster. 
hey, I promise you, it is it is strobing, but the camera isn't quite picking it up. That's actually really irritating because I can't show you how strobing this is. The camera doesn't like strobe lights anyway. Uh, that's those. That's uh, mini mini strobe. We've got one. We've got two of those. Uh, these are just cheap. Uh, these are cheap five quid ones. You can stick a couple of AAA batteries into. Now, funnily enough, this company here, QTX, make all of our DJ. Well, I say a lie. They make the majority of our equipment. We have these from QTX. We have QTX speakers coming. We have a QTX mixer. Um, we have uh, other QTX lights on the way. I think the Parkhams are QTX or American DJ. And obviously, if you've seen the Facebook page, um, the um, the cover I've got on my Facebook page is of the American DJ X Move LEDs. We will be having one of those here and one of those here. So we have two minis on either side, and then we'll have the two main uh, ones in the center and then here I'm going to be replacing this with a very nice laser now what you can do is you don't have to have them all upside down like these are you can actually turn these over and you can put them on top of the tri bar there's two ways you can go you can have it under here or you can have it you can see that you can have it on top um, I prefer my moving heads to be underneath traditionally However, I prefer my lasers to be on top. Don't know why, I just do. Um, and as you can see over there, we still got the Christmas tree that will be being taken down tomorrow. Um, and those are the boxes back there. They are friggin' huge and they're going to take a lot of space, so they're going to get burned. So I'm going to have a nice little bonfire um, in celebration of, of, of the burning <laughs> of those. Can't even. Never mind. Uh, no. Uh, so that's that. Um, there will be an update. Um, this is not the finished product. This is just what it looks like at the moment. I'm going to now turn the camera off and I'm going to get it how I want it and I'm going to make sure that I've got it set up in the way that I want it. Um, and then I will take another video of that when I'm finished with that. That will be. That won't be today. That will be, uh, just so you know, today is the 3rd of January 2014. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, three days too late, but still. Um, so that is that. Uh, these are the same moving heads that I showed you before, and obviously, as I was talking about in the previous video I did about, well, just before Christmas, um, here we have the DMX cable that's connecting that one from the DMX output into the DMX input of this light. This is the slave, this is the master. Um, and just watch the video and you'll you'll understand more about the DMX. I'm not an expert on it myself. Uh, the one thing I did get is I got a couple of these. Uh, now, these are called G clamps. Well, for the obvious reason is that they look like a G. Little like a letter G. Now these clamps usually, um, you untie them and they, they will hang on to the, the, the T bar like that. But what was very very nice about this piece is one of the second main reasons as to why I bought it apart from the screen is that it has these here, uh, and these just simply hold the lights up fine. I mean I didn't even need these G clamps, which I really really thought I would, especially because these came with the two mini moves. Um, so I really really thought I would I would need those but apparently well I didn't uh, which I'm, I'm really quite happy about and um, but like I said I've got four of these I've got two uh, mini move LEDs um, which I'm going to so what I will do is I'm going to get the other two down later and I'm going to put one on the end here on the, which I'm not too sure about this I'm saying that I could look I'm rattling this quite a lot and this is can you can see I'm rattling this quite a lot and it's pretty, pretty, it's, you know, it's fairly sturdy. Um, but I'll show you where I bent the pole. You can see it. Hope you guys can see it, actually. Which is uh, another good news, because these are all, these all came all, all sturdy. Actually, they, you just see that in there. Oh, you, you really can't, hang on a sec. Turn on one of these strobes, put it on very, very slowly. That little dent there, that is where I bent the pole. Actually, put it on a bit quicker. Actually, hang on. Put it in the full strobe. It might not. There you go. And um, that is where I bent the pole, trying to get this to stay in. I put stupidly. I put the table the wrong friggin' way round. Um, I mean, I put these out outer pieces backwards, which means I bent the pole for this. However, on saying that, this is still 100% sturdy. I'm shaking this quite a lot, quite a fair bit, and everything's holding in there, which is a really, really good sign. Uh, and that's what we like. That's what we like with our products. Uh, that's why we get 100% customer satisfaction 
all the time, every time. Every time we do a gig, we always give out uh, forms to fill out, which are basically um, uh, basically forms that say how do we, how do we do, um, and every time we get a hundred percent positive result. Uh, we only ever had one complaint, and that was where um, one of our old DJs um, played some inappropriate music um, at a function that did not require it. Um, we did speak to the DJ in question, and. Um, he just said that uh, it was on the playlist and he didn't mean to. And then we squared things out with the, um, with the, the, oh, freaking out, I can't get my words out, I really can't. Uh, we squared things out with the the buyers, um, that's what I'm going to call them because I can't remember the name for them, uh, for the buyers. And um, they, they, they um, understood completely and they issued, an, they issued us an apology uh, and then we obviously issued them one. And then they filled out the form and they gave us a 100% guarantee. Uh, well, they actually gave us 99%, um, but obviously the 1% off was for the uh, the incident which occurred, which was it's not too bad actually. Um, but we have 100% satisfaction all the time, every time, and that is why we are the best um, for the area that we are in and for what we do. Um, obviously, I'm not the only DJ in, involved in the company. There are several others um, that are all around um, the northwest and the northeast. We mainly focus on the north. Um, obviously, we have quite a couple of, in Wales. We've got some uh, here in Merseyside, uh, some in Liverpool. Um, I think we've got some in Chester and Cheshire. I don't know why we've got some in Cheshire, but I think uh, the friend, uh, a friend of a DJ here, um, lives in Cheshire, um, and he sometimes gigs with one of the DJs that is involved up here, um, but he's not part of the company or anything. Um, well, that's that, and all these. Um, lights are due to be pat tested uh, this year because uh, that is when all the pat testing equipment is due which is why I'm trying to get as much equipment in as I possibly can so that I can get it all pat tested and I can get the certificates. Um, if we, if you book us for a venue or for an event and you ask to see a certificate of authorization and um, to say that all our lights are safety tested we, uh, every, every person who is involved in that should carry one of those around with them at all times and that goes to the speakers, the laptops and the equipment. Um, everything is always pat tested by the company. It's, it's that we don't bring our own equipment. It's all the company's equipment. This all, however, is mine. This is all mine equipment because I'm the second in charge of the um, the world division. Um, surprisingly, uh, but that's that's my job. I'm a DJ, um, as, as much you know, amongst other things, really. Um, this is the job I enjoy doing most. This is the one that pays the bills. Uh, well, in fact, this this is the job that pays for all all of this all of these lights. Um but that's that. Um this is the job that paid for that lovely tree over there and that nice flat screen T V, fifty seven inch, I think. Forty seven, fifty seven inch. Um that's that, that's it, that's uh, that's that sorted. Um so thanks very much for watching this video. I've I've decided to ramble on a little bit about that. I do apologise. Um but that's as you can see that that is the, the main front and I will show you as soon as everything is sorted and everything is ready to go. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, from all of us here at RRC DJ Entertainment, have a good time and see you later. Practice and enjoy.